it is award season. We're starting to barrel towards the conclusion of award season with the Oscars coming up in a couple of weeks. And we've been following a bunch of the races in the award seasons of both movies and television. And there have been some constants, right? Like um, Steven Yeun and Ali Wong winning actor and actress for best limited series or television series, right, for beef. I mean, that's been in every award show. They win that. And there have been a few constants. One of the constants have been for best dramatic actor in television. That constant has been somebody from Succession. That, that, that's been it. Somebody from Succession. Macaulay, normally, right? That has been one of the rock-solid things throughout. So now we come to the SAG Awards. Probably, I mean, look, the most important award might still be the Emmys, but to actors, if you're a television actor, the SAG Awards, because this is an award that is actually voted on by all the actors. It is actually being presented to you by your peers, by those who know acting the best, other actors. And the SAG Awards got together for their annual awards, and when it came time to announce Best Drama Actor, Everybody expected another succession name, including Pedro Pascal, who thought, since I have no chance, I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> and he drank a lot at the party, had just having a good time. And then he shocked the world. They got up and made the presentation for Best Dramatic Actor, and it went to Pedro Pascal. And it's awesome. If you guys haven't seen the video, you know how they go, and the winner is, and they show all the faces of the nominees. Of course, Pedro Pascal's in there. He's getting ready to clap for one of the succession guys again because that's what the whole award season has been. And when they said Pedro Pascal, his face was priceless. It was like he was just stunned, <laughs> stunned. <laughs> and he gets up on stage and it's one of the greatest openings to a speech I'd ever heard. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. Basically, I didn't think I would be up here, so I got drunk. <laughs> so he's to go, he goes, to all my fellow nominees, I don't remember your names right now. And he's just going on and on. like, And he was holding back tears. You could tell he wanted to cry. <laughs> and it was one of the most beautiful, authentic, wonderful <clears throat> award show moments um, I remember seeing. And, of course, he, he winning for The Last of Us, uh, which I thought he was just absolutely incredible in. I'm so happy for him that he won this award. And the timing is great too, because it's wonderful that we are hot on the heels right now of the official word coming out that Pedro Pascal is our new Reed Richards. He's going to be the smartest man in the universe uh, in it. And I think now, I think this is going to make some people feel even better knowing, oh, this guy, all the actors of the world just anointed that this guy's the best television dramatic actor, uh, which is neat. Now, there was another surprise at the SAGs. One of the other ones, because it's kind of looked like the race for best actress in a motion picture at the Oscars has now been settled. It's going to be Emma Stone. And we said, well, we'll wait to see what happens at SAG. SAG stunned us again. Lily Gladstone was named best actress in a motion picture for, um, I was going to say Oppenheimer, which <laughs> we were used to say, but Killers of the Flower Moon. She won for that which makes now the Best Actress Award going into the Oscars very interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. It ain't just Emma Stone's anymore. Because I she mean, won she won the Golden the Golden Globe, right, Lily Gladstone? She did, but I think Emma... Didn't they put Emma Stone in the comedy category? Yeah. And didn't she win that there? So, And then uh, Lily Gladstone wasn't even nominated at the BAFTAs. <laughs> so now going... In, look, if, I think <laughs> the, the smart money is still on Emma Stone. I still think the smart money is there. But... It ain't a lock anymore with Lily Gladstone winning the SAG. Especially at the SAG, yeah. Especially at the SAG. Um, it's going to be really interesting now going into the Oscars to see the race. And you know what? I, I don't think there's a right choice. Lily Gladstone and Emma Stone were both remarkable. And, and, and wildly films. different kinds of pieces of work by both yes. by both ladies. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to choose because you're looking at two extremes and both... Both extremes required great performances, so it's it's a tough, that's a tough, tough one. But, you know, hey, Lily Gladstone represents a, a milestone moment in the Oscars, so I'd have no problem, you know, if she won. 
it would be a, a great moment. And and the film, I think Killers of the Flower Moon, in a way, people are always looking at, well, is it the best picture of the year because it's this thing? But it's still a, a phenomenal piece of work. Yeah, very it's long, a, but it, phenomenal yeah, piece phenomenal of work. Yeah, phenomenal piece of work. I mean, yeah, it's very long, and all the things that might work against it, it is still a master working at the top of his game. And, you know, it's just, it's not as safe fun. Right. You know. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, The Perfect Jean. Guys, are you tired of the rough and rigid jeans crushing your boys? Well, today's sponsor, The Perfect Jean, finally solved all of your denim difficulties. They make great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are as comfortable as sweatpants. The secret? A special denim fabric that is super soft and has the perfect amount of stretch so you can squat, do yoga, or just sit around all day without ever having to take them off. I'm going to admit I was a little bit skeptical because to me, jeans have always been jeans. They're practical, but not always the most comfortable. But I'm telling you guys, it's not an exaggeration. Once I put on these jeans, the perfect jean redefined what jeans can be to me. They're the perfect fit. They stretch, they breathe. And again, they're just insanely comfortable. So guys, it's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc slash campia15. Our listeners get 15% off your first order plus free shipping, free returns and free exchanges when you use code campia15 at checkout. Again, that's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc slash campia15 and use the code campia15. After you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please support the John Campus Show and tell them we sent you. Well, let's go over the list of the other winners because there are a couple other little surprises, but in a lot, not so much. Okay, so best motion picture cast, SAG awarded to, no real big surprise, Oppenheimer. It won over American Picture, Bar Barbie, The Color Purple, and Killers of Flower Moon. Best male actor in a leading role in a motion picture. No big surprise here. Although I I thought there was a good chance that it might go to Paul Giamatti because yeah. SAG loves Paul Giamatti, but it went to Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. So that, that has paved the way, I think, now for here's the clear uh, odds-on favorite to win the Oscar. Uh, best female actor in a leading role, of course, went to Lily Gladstone. Best male actor in a supporting role, it's he's run the table. Robert Downey Jr. has run the table. Incredible performance. Yeah, now... It, although no, he hasn't run the table. I think Sterling K. Brown won one of the awards, but I, I whatever. Robert Downey Jr. won most of them. It's incredible. Um, I still wouldn't say it's a lock that he wins the Oscar, but it's as close to a lock as you're going to get. So that was no surprise. Best female actor in a supporting role. This one is a lock. Divine Joy uh, Randolph for the holdovers. She has been running the table. She will win the Academy Award for best supporting actress in there. And I, I personally think well deserved. Best stunt ensemble went to Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. Uh, they've got. Then we get into the television categories. Best drama series ensemble. No surprise. Succession uh, won best ensemble. Best comedy series ensemble. No surprise. The Bear, which has been winning all the actors. Best Lead Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor. I mean, they've just been sweeping all of that. Best Male Actor in a TV Movie or Miniseries. Again, running the table. Steven Yeun and Beef, he's won every single major award there has been for this, as well as his co-star Ali Wong in Beef for Best Female Actor in a TV or Miniseries. Best, and then this one we just talked about, Best Male Actor in a Drama Series. Against three people in succession, Brian Cox, Kieran Culkin, and Matthew McFadden, who's going to, of course, be in uh, Deadpool 3. We just saw him in the recent trailer. And Pedro shocked the world. Pedro took home Best Dramatic Actor, which was, I was so excited for him. Uh, best Female Actor in a series, Elizabeth Debicki for The Crown. I actually kind of thought it would go to Sarah Snook because she's won a number of these awards, but it went to Elizabeth Debicki. She's great. Best Male Actor in a Comedy Series, again, running the table, J uh, Jeremy Allen White yeah, for The Bear. Yeah, Jeremy Allen. Well-deserved. Female actor in a comedy series, again, The Bear, A.O. Uh, Edebiri, who, by the way, was the voice of the girl in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh. No. Yeah, I believe she was the voice of that. No. I, I hope I'm not wrong about that, but I think it was. Oh, let me look that up. Let me back you up here, but go ahead. And uh, Best Stunt Ensemble in a TV Series went to The Last of Us. Uh, so that's the stuff. So, Rob, again, a couple of instances here that of just running the, t the table, right? But well-deserved. And, and well deserved, I think, it, especially in the movie categories, it's yeah. paints a picture. Obviously, the Peter Pascal one surprised us. I think the Lily Gladstone one's a bit of a surprise. Were there any others that kind of surprised you? Elizabeth Debicki. Yeah, I didn't yeah, a little that, bit, right? You know, but I, I, I love her. You know, oh, I've always loved. I, I, you know, I loved her in Tenet. It's kind of like this cold, icy. I mean, she's great. She, you know, she's like six three or something. I didn't know she was that tall. She's really tall. 
And there's, there's, she has like this ethereal elegance to her that I, I just really, and I loved seeing her winning for Princess Die. Good for her. Good for her indeed. Ray, do we got a confirmation? Did it's she do AO, the voice of April? A, the, who played April? Yeah. It's AO. Yep, the, that's her. She said from the bear. She's kind of cleaning it up. So um, good on them. And again, congrats to Pedro Pascal. Reed Richards, our Mr. Fantastic. Uh, that uh, shocked the way. <laughs> yep, he shocked the world, and boy, was he having a good time doing it. Yeah, it's your Halloween costume on, Rob. Look, <laughs> look at the back screen. That, isn't that what you had on Halloween? Last Absolutely. Year? <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today, so it'll be there when you need it.